Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. I'm really excited for today's class because I'm trying something a little bit new. And we're adding a bit of a flow and dance element into our yoga practice today. So we're really going to focus on the, the breath and body connection and just moving in new ways um, in our yoga practice. So really, really excited. We will actually start, um, we are going to start in child's pose today briefly just to get the hips loosened up. So heels are together, knees are apart, shifting the weight back. We're going to slowly walk the hands down, bringing the forehead to the ground. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Release with a long, audible sigh. One more deep breath in through the nose. Release with a sigh. I'm just taking a moment to arrive on your mat today. And I'd like you all to set an intention for your practice, bringing meaning to your mat. This could be to focus on the breath, to be present, to listen and honor your body. Whatever it is you want to set your intention, please do so now. On the inhale, we're slowly going to walk the hands up. On the exhale, we're going to bring the arms up, back, down, walking back into a child's pose. Inhale, walking the arms up. Arms come out. Exhale, hands come through the heart center, walking back down. Two more times like this. On this next inhale coming up, we'll bring the arms back. And this time we're going to go to the right hand side. So walking the hands to the right hand side, holding here, bringing the forehead down to the mat. Really stretching out through that left side body, stretching through the fingertips. On the inhale, walking the hands back up. We'll inhale, open up the arms again. Slight back bend, exhale, twisting to the left hand side, walking the hands out and holding here. Breathing through the stretch. Okay, next inhale, walking the hands up, coming back to center. We're going to plant the hands and take some circles with the hips. So starting in a clockwise direction. Inhaling as you come up, exhale as you shift the weight back. Letting your breath guide you through the movement. Okay, going in the other direction. Okay, coming on to hands and knees, starting a cat cow flow. Inhale, we're going to tilt the chest up, open it, expand the chest, drop the shoulders. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, round. Two more at the pace of your own breath. And then from here, we're going to add additional flow. So we'll inhale, coming forward. Exhale, tucking chin in the chest. We'll shift the weight back. Drop the elbows. Come through for chakra, vakasana flow. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, rounding spine. Inhale. Two more here at the pace of your own breath. Okay, coming through the center, walking the hands a bit, a little bit forward. We're going to tuck the back toes and go into our downward dog, pedaling out the backs of the legs. And then slowly settling in, really pressing the chest 
Lift the chest through the shoulders. We're going to inhale here at center. Exhale, come forward into plank. Inhale, back to downward dog. Exhale, forward into plank. Two more here. Okay, this time we're going to inhale, coming forward to plank, drop the knees, then inhale, bringing the legs back into downward dog. So inhaling here, exhale, coming forward, dropping the knees, and then shifting the weight back into downward dog. Two more times here. Holding in downward dog. From here, we're going to inhale, come forward, drop the knees. Coming up into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale takes us forward, dropping the knees. We'll come down through the chest and then inhale, coming up. Okay, two more here. Coming back and downward dog, we're slowly going to walk the hands up to meet, sorry, the feet up to meet the hands, hanging here in a forward fold. Just letting everything release toward the ground, we can sway from side to side, grab opposite elbows. Okay, from here, starting a flow, on the inhale, we're going to come up with a flat back, exhale, fold. Next inhale, we're going to inhale, arms come out, exhale, fold, inhale, flat back, fold, inhale, wingspan, arms open, fold, one more each, inhale, flat back, fold, inhale, opening up, wingspan, fold, inhale, halfway, flat back, exhale, fold, and then slightly bending knees. We're going to come up one vertebrae at a time. Arms come to meet at center. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're going to take three half sun salutations at the pace of our own breath. Count the first. So we'll inhale to rise. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now two more at the pace of your own breath. Option to close the eyes, making it a moving meditation, really allowing the breath to guide you through each and every movement. When you finish your second one, pausing here into Dasana, hands at heart center, eyes closed. Just to be, feel the beginning of the flow of the energy within the body. Okay, slowly opening the eyes on the inhale. We're gonna work the shoulders and the arms here. So getting a comfortable stance. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Weight is balanced between both feet. On the inhale, we're gonna raise the arms all the way up. On the exhale, coming down. We're gonna take the right arm all the way over, turn, and then inhale, opening up, coming this way. Now other arm, left arm reaches all the way up and over. Exhale as we round. And then inhale as we bring the arm out. So inhale, arms rise. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, over. Exhale as we round. Inhale as we open up the arm. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more here. Okay, one more full round, inhaling up, exhale, arms down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale here. 
Okay, exhale, hands come down. This time we're going to take the arms. We're going to inhale the arms back like this. Exhale, serving them out. Inhale, arms come back. Exhale, serve. Okay, two more here. Okay, this time we're going to bring arms back. Inhale, we're going to come all the way up. And then on the exhale, take a seat. Arms come behind. Inhale, we're standing all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, coming up. Okay, two more here. Okay, we're going to hold as we sink down on the exhale. Hold in chair pose. Hands come to heart center. Holding here, focusing on the breath. On the next inhale, rising up, diving forward. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart center. From here, we're going to start with the right leg. On the inhale, we're going to raise the arms up in prayer and our leg. On the exhale, bringing it out to the side. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, leg out to the side. So taking this at the pace of your own breath, just connecting with the breath here. Connecting movement to breath. Two more on this side. Okay, we'll slowly go on to the other side. Inhale, leg comes up. Exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale. So just opening your leg wherever it goes today. So really opening up that hip, pointing the leg, bringing it back down. And honoring the pace of your own breath. Knowing that I might be going a little bit faster than what you're feeling today. So finding your own breath, your own balance, your own flow. Two more here. Okay, pausing in center. We'll inhale to rise all the way up. Exhale, reaching. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, up. Reach. One more each side. Okay, then bringing the arms together like this, kind of like genie arms. We're going to inhale here and then just take some big circles with our torso very slowly. So inhaling as you come up, exhale as you dive forward. One more in this direction. Okay, exhale three the other way. Again, closing the eyes if you need, but going as slowly as needed. You don't get dizzy. Just focusing on that stretch through the torso. After your third one, meeting into dasana. Just taking a moment to close the eyes. Palms are facing forward. Shoulders are up, back, and down. And again, beginning to tap in and connect with that energy and flow within your body. Bringing your awareness within. Okay, on the inhale, we're going to take the right knee. Lifting arms, lifting legs. On the exhale, we're gonna go back into warrior three. <laughs> Inhale, coming up. Exhale, slowly back into warrior three. One more time. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, back. And this time we're gonna plant the foot on the back. 
and go into warrior one. So the back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Knee bend in the front knee. On the inhale, we're going to reach the arms up. On the exhale, we're going to clasp the hands together. So you can bring the thumbs together. You can go in steeple mudra, however you want to clasp the hands together. And then we're just going to sway, slowly sway from side to side. So inhaling at center. On the exhale, reach into the right hand side. Inhale, comes back to center. Exhale, left hand side. One more each side. Okay, coming back to center, we're going to inhale hands to heart center here. Exhale, and then on the inhale, we're going to open up the arms. Exhale, closing. We're going to inhale, open up. This time, we're going to come back, open up the chest, dive forward. Exhale, hands release, coming up. Inhaling here. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Inhale, we open and expand. Exhale, bringing them together. Inhale, we open, arms come behind. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. Inhaling, open here, hands come back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up. And we'll pause here in warrior one. We're gonna pivot the foot. Pivot the back foot so it's facing forward. We'll inhale here. On the exhale, we're gonna bring the hands down, push off the back foot into a half split. We'll inhale here, exhale, taking a little squat, knees bend in towards each other. Inhale as we extend, exhale here. One more time. Okay, bringing the front foot up, we're gonna hang in a forward fold. Reconnecting to the breath, to the energy, the vitality on the inhale. We're going to come up with a flat back, exhale, fold, and then inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll go on to the other side. So from here, we're going to inhale, left leg comes up and the arms reach. Exhale, slowly going back into warrior three. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, back into warrior three. Okay, one more, always option to Tap the floor as needed. And then here we're going to float the leg back into warrior one stance on the other side. So deep bend in that front knee. That foot is at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, arms come up, dropping the shoulders from the ears. And we're going to clasp the hands again, however feels good for you today. We're going to take a deep inhale here. Exhale, reach to the left side. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, reaching to the right side. One more each side. Okay, holding here at center, we're going to begin the flow on this side. So slowly bringing the hands to heart center. We'll take a deep breath in here and slowly exhale to release the air. And then as we inhale, we'll open up the arms. Exhale, bring them together. Inhale, opening up, arms come behind, expanding the chest. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, releases arms coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to come down to heart center. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open, arms come behind. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale as arms lift back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms clasp behind. Diving forward on the exhale. Inhale, arms come up. We'll do one more of these. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale as we open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale here. 
Arms will come up into warrior one. Deep breath in here. And then on the exhale, shifting the weight forward, coming into the half splits. Option to stay here or take three little shot key squats, bending the knees forward on the exhale. Inhale as we expand and extend the leg. Exhale. Inhale. One more here. And then bringing the leg forward again, we find ourselves in a forward fold. This time I want you to bend the knees slightly and bring the arms, wrap the arms around the backs of the legs, tucking the head in toward the chest. Okay, slowly releasing on the inhale, we'll come up with a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stepping back with the right leg into warrior two. We're gonna find a deep bend in the front knee. Back leg is parallel to the back edge of the mat. Finding balance between both legs and then inhale, floating the arms up. From here, we're gonna take a flow. On the inhale, we're gonna reach forward. Exhale, reaching back. Inhale, forward. Just taking this flow to the pace of your own breath, moving in whatever way your body wants to move. Okay, finding stillness here in the center. We'll inhale here, exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming back up, exhale, exalted. One more time, inhale, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, exalted, exhale. We're gonna hold here. We're just gonna take a moment to float the arms. So staying in back here, we're going to just shift the arms around, reach back, inhale, arms, come out, one more here, okay, we're slowly coming back into warrior two, we're going to shift the legs to face forward, and the toes are going to point out for goddess pose, so we're going to start here, on the inhale, we're going to bend the legs, arms rise, exhale, hands come out. Inhale as we sit. Exhale, coming up. Inhale. Okay, next time we're inhale as we come up. Exhale, we're going to take a seat here. Option to come onto the tippy toes. We're just going to take a flow. Going onto the tips of the toes, coming back down as we hold. Come in, tips of the toes and down a few more times. Okay, this time we're going to twist this way and we'll be on warrior two on the other side. So the back foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat, deep bend in the front knee. When you are balanced, we'll inhale, raise the arms. Then we're going to start with that flow. So again, finding what works for you, maybe closing the eyes and feeling the movement that your body wants to make this morning. It will likely look different than mine and different than the other person next to you. Okay, finding stillness in the center, we're gonna inhale here. On the exhale, tilting forward, elbow comes down, arm comes up. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, exalted. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhaling back to warrior two. Exhale, we'll hold here. Then we're gonna start the flow with the arms. So inhaling here, exhale, arms rotate. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale. Two more here. Okay, coming back to center, pointing the feet again toward in the same direction. So hips are open. We're going to take the hands to the hips. Take a the, on your wide stance with a flat back. Come back one vertebrae at a time, bending at pelvis. Hands come down in front. 
From here, we're gonna take a little twist. So right hand will plant, inhale, left arm reaches all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, switching sides. Exhale, fold. Two more each side. finding stillness in the center, allowing the head to hang, maybe lifting the hands up from the ground. Okay, slightly bending the knees, we'll come up one vertebrae at a time, flat back, and then take a step to the top of your mat and join me in Tadasana for a moment. Again, feeling the breath, vibrant energy and flow of the breath as it moves through the body. And all that energy that was cultivated from within. And connecting the mind, the body, and the breath. From here, we're going to go into dancer's pose. So, dancer's pose, I'm going to go sideways. We're going to ground our weight into our left foot. We're going to bring the right leg back, and this might be it for you today. So right leg into right hand. This might be all that we do today. For those that are going a little bit deeper, we're going to bend the standing leg. Arm comes out. And then slowly tilting forward, we're going to lift the leg behind arm in front of us into dancer's pose. So again, this might look different. This will, sorry, continue. This will look different for everyone. And just finding your pace, your balance, wherever you're at. Try to keep the hips squared down toward the ground instead of opening up. So holding here. Deep inhale here. Exhale, release. And we'll go on to the other side. So this time, left leg will bend in. I like to grab the inside of the foot. Some people may grab the outside. I like to grab the inside of the foot. And again, I like to kind of shift forward at the same time, but find what works for you. Really keeping the knee in towards the body as much as possible when you go back instead of opening it out. Pressing the foot into the hand, stretching out the shoulder here. Really focusing and concentrating your gaze, your drishti. Deep inhale here, exhale, slowly release. We're slow, and we're gonna come into a seated position. So coming down, right leg out, left leg down. We're gonna take the left hand back, inhale up for a gate pose, stretching out the body. Deep inhale here, exhale, coming down. We're going to reach the right arm out, left arm comes up and over. Okay, inhale, arms lift, and we will square off the hips toward the extended leg. Exhale, come down again. Okay, inhale, we'll walk the hands up. Exhale, we're going to take the, bend the right leg over, left arm reaches up for a twist. So right hand comes behind, looking over the shoulder. Deep inhale here. Exhale, slowly unwinding the other side. So starting with gate pose, so we're going to shift our weight to the bent leg. Right hand comes behind, inhale, hips lift up. And then we reach through the fingertips, through the side body, a full body stretch. Deep breath in here. Exhale, slowly releasing. Left arm comes parallel. Right arm reaches up and over. Remembering to open up and expand the chest. On your next inhale, we're going to right raise the arms up, squaring the hips. Exhale, diving forward. Okay, 
Okay, walking the hands up on the inhale, bringing the soles of the feet together. Our final stretch, we'll inhale here at center. On the exhale, we're gonna round the spine, bringing the head down toward the feet. Getting a bit of a stretch through the hips. And slowly walking yourself up on the inhale. Coming into a comfortable seated position, we're going to have the palms facing down in a gesture of grounding. We'll close the eyes, we'll bring the shoulders on the inhale up, back and down. One more time, inhale up, back and down. Just allowing the shoulders to settle in. Spine is tall, crown of the head reaching toward the sky. And taking a moment of silence. I'm just checking in with how you're feeling in this moment. Body, mind, and heart. Feeling the energy and vitality pulsing through your body. And know that this energy was created from within. It can be created at any time when you bring your awareness within, when you meet yourself on your mat, and when you bring meaning to your mat. So inhale, floating hands to heart center. Exhale, we're going to bow the chin toward the chest. And I want you to set an intention for your day. It could be the same intention you set when you got on your mat. You can take that and carry that with you throughout your day, or you can set a new intention. Now, as you set that intention, inhaling that intention into your heart, and then exhale, <sighs> releasing it back out into the world. And so it is. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Hope you enjoyed today's class. Let me know how you liked it, and I will see you very soon. Have a beautiful day.